our Giro d'Italia winner. And 33 years of age. Looked for a while like he was just going to ride into a second place finish, but boy, did he come around Oliver Zog in a hurry there in the last few hundred meters to pick up his second career Vuelta stage victory. The other one coming back in 2009. That one also coming from a breakaway, but not a day like this. That's for sure. This climb unbelievably steep to the finish line. Rough asphalt. And he really did look... I actually was feeling bad for him with about a K to go, thinking, no, not second place for Ryder after what he's been through in this race. Lost over three minutes on two separate stages in the general classification early in the first week and then crashed while he was in the breakaway on stage 14. So some early disappointments, but he recovered today. A Ryder has doll picking up a very impressive stage victory. And I didn't say Ryder has it all. Ryder, congratulations. The first one is not a question, but an expression. Finally, you got it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, obviously GC option kind of went out the, the window early on in the race, but I didn't really uh, get you upset. I knew Dan's in, in good condition and he would be able to ride a good GC, so I just switched straight back to uh, going on the attack and trying to, you know, win a bike race. And, uh, you know, <clears throat> the guy had a really good shot in stage seven and unfortunately crashed there. I <clears throat> tried again a couple of days later and just didn't have the legs and, you know, that starts to catch up with you. But uh, it was all in today and unbelievable to uh, <laughs> pull it off on such a tough day. So couldn't be happier. Also an unbelievable final climb. Did you like it? Uh, it was on... <clears throat> Amazing. I mean, that's that's why we do this. I mean, uh, the energy you get from the fans like that, it's, it's unreal. Thank you. Thanks a lot. All right, so Hedgestall, the stage winner, but the general classification.